when we talk about resilience, there's national, there's societal, and then there's individual aspects. And really, it's all about being able to take a blow, get back up, and do what you're supposed to be doing, whether it's a core national function, an organisational mission, or just what you're supposed to be doing as an individual. There's a lot of things that individuals can do, uh, keeping themselves informed, not just from social media, but from a wider array of different sources to build resilience against misinformation, which uh, does cause societal um, you know, cleavages and breaks down societal cohesion. But for nations, it's about building resilience in their telecommunications, about their access to key resources such as energy, medicines and, and things like this. Well, I think the most uh, compelling challenge is that governments need to explain the purpose of resilient systems to their citizens. And they need to have tough, ongoing conversations about the purpose of building resilient systems. Then they need to justify the expense because some of these systems are not cheap and they're competing with other elements that societies value, whether it's education, health care, public housing. We don't need to come up with too many new ideas. They're all out there. It's about how do you incentivise governments to actually do this and do it rather quickly.